welcome to edupedia world in this video we will discuss standard deviation and its coefficient calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient in discrete series in discrete series there is corresponding frequency given against definite value of x we need to arrange data in ascending or descending order there are three methods to calculate standard deviation that is direct method shortcut method and step deviation method first we will discuss direct method the following steps are observed to calculate standard deviation first is calculate the actual mean that is mean equals to sigma fx divided by f next step we will find deviation for each item from actual mean d equals to x minus mean third step we will find square of each deviation that is d square next we will multiply square of each deviation with the corresponding frequency f multiplied by d square and last we will find the sum of this product that is sigma fd square symbolically it is written standard deviation equals to sigma fd square under root divided by sigma f under root where sigma fd square equals to sum total of the product of frequency and square deviations and sigma f equals to sum of total frequency or number of observations coefficient of standard deviation is calculated by dividing standard deviation by the actual mean symbolically it is written csd equals to sd divided by mean where sd stands for standard deviation now we will understand direct method with the help of a following illustration in this particular illustration we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following information using direct method in the information we are provided with x and f so let's start with the solution we will make the table of six columns in the first column we will write down the variable x that is 15 20 25 30 and 35 in the second column we will write down frequencies that is 2 3 6 7 and 2 we will add up these frequencies we will get sigma f equals to 20 in the third column we will write fx we will multiply frequency with the variables that is 15 into 2 we will get 30 20 into 3 we will get 60 25 into 6 we will get 150 30 into 7 we will get 210 and 35 into 2 we will get 70 we will add up these values we will get sigma fx equals to 520 now we will calculate mean mean equals to sigma fx divided by sigma f so 520 divided by 20 we will get 26 as mean now come to fourth column d equals to x minus mean x is 15 mean is 26 we will get minus 11 20 minus 26 we will get minus 6 25 minus 26 we will get minus 1 30 minus 26 4 35 minus 26 9 now come to fifth column we will square up the values of d that is in fourth column minus 11 square 121 minus 6 square 36 minus 1 square 1 4 square 16 9 square 81 and in the last column we will write fd square we will multiply frequency with d square so 2 into 121 we will get 242 3 into 36 we will get 108 6 into 1 6 7 into 16 112 2 into 81 we will get 162 we will add up these values we will get sigma fd square equals to 630 so now sd that is standard deviation is sigma fd square under root divided by sigma f under root so we'll put up the values we will get 5.61 as standard deviation now come to csd that is coefficient of standard deviation which is equals to sd divided by mean sd we got 5.61 and mean is 26 so 5.61 divided by 26 we will get 0.21 as csd this is how we will calculate standard deviation under direct method now we come to calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient 
in discrete series using shortcut method. The following steps are observed to find standard deviation. First, we take some values of the series as assumed mean A. Then we find deviation for each item from this assumed mean D equals to X minus A. Next, we multiply each deviation with corresponding frequencies F into D and we obtain some total of this product that is sigma FD. Then we find square of, square of each deviation that is D square and then we multiply square of each deviation with the corresponding frequency f into d square and we obtain some total of this product that is sigma fd square. Use the following formula to calculate standard deviation. Sigma fd square divided by sigma f minus sigma fd divided by sigma f whole square under root whole where sigma fd equals to sum total of the product of deviation and frequency Sigma FD squared is equal to sum total of the product of squared deviations and frequency and Sigma F equals to sum total of frequency or number of observations. Coefficient of standard deviation. It is calculated by dividing the standard deviation by actual mean. Symbolically it is written CSD equals to standard deviation by mean. Let us understand shortcut method with the help of the following illustration. In this particular illustration, we have to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following formula using shortcut method. X and F is provided to us. Let's start with the solution. We will make the table of six columns. In the first column, we will write down X, that is 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. We will take 25 as assumed mean. Next, we will write down frequencies in the second column that is 2, 3, 6, 7, 2. We will add up the values, we will get sigma f equals to 20. In the third column, we will write down d equals to x minus a. x is variable, a is assumed mean. So, 15 minus 25, we will get minus 10. 20 minus 25, we will get minus 5. 25 minus 25, we will get 0. 30 minus 25, 5. 35 minus 25, 10. In the fourth column, we will write FD, that is frequency multiplied by deviation. 2 into minus 10, minus 20. 3 into minus 5, minus 15. 6 into 0, 0. 7 into 5, 35. And 2 into 10, we will get 20. We will calculate the values. We will get sigma FD equals to 20. In the next column, we will write D square. We will square up the values of D. Minus 10 square, 100. Minus 5 square, 25. 0 square, 0. 5 square 25 and 10 square 100. And the last column will multiply frequency with d square. So 2 into 100 will get 200. 3 into 25 we will get 75. 6 into 0 we will get 0. 7 into 25 we will get 175. And 2 into 100 we will get 200. We will add up the values. We will get sigma fd square equals to 650. Now we will calculate sd that is standard deviation. We will write down the formula that is Sigma FD square divided by Sigma F minus Sigma FD divided by Sigma F whole square under root whole. We will write down the values and calculate it and then we will get 5.61 as SD. Now we will calculate CSD that is coefficient of standard deviation. That is standard deviation divided by mean. Where we have calculated mean, mean equals to A plus Sigma FD divided by Sigma F. We have assumed means 25 plus 20 by 20, which is equals to 25 plus 1, we will get 26 as mean. So, we will put up the value in the mean, we will get 0 0.21 as CS, the coefficient of standard deviation. This is how we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient in discrete series using shortcut method. Now we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient in discrete series using step deviation method. The following steps are observed to find standard deviation. First we take some values of the series as assumed mean A. We find deviation for each item from this assumed mean D equals to X minus A. We find step deviation for each item by dividing each deviation D by common factor C that is d dash equals to d divided by c. We multiply each deviation with corresponding frequency f multiplied by 
d dash. We obtain sum total of this product that is sigma f d dash. Then we find square of each step deviation d dash square. Then we multiply square of each deviation with the corresponding frequency f into d dash square. And last we obtain the sum total of this product that is sigma f d dash square. We use the following formula to calculate standard deviation. Sigma f d dash square divided by sigma f minus sigma f d dash divided by sigma f whole square multiplied by c under root whole. Where sigma f d dash equals to sum total of the product of step deviation and frequency. Sigma f d dash square equals to sum total of the product of squared step deviations and frequency. And sigma f equals to sum total of frequency or number of observations. C equals to common factor. Coefficient of standard deviation, it is calculated by dividing the standard deviation by actual mean. Symbolically, it is written CSD equals to SD by mean. Let us understand step deviation method with the help of a following illustration. In this particular illustration, we have to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient using step deviation method. We have taken the previous illustration that we have discussed in shortcut method. So, we will make the table of 7 columns. In the first column, we will write x that is variables 15, 20, 25, 30 and 35. We have taken 25 as assumed mean. In the second column, we will write down the frequencies that is 2, 3, 6, 7 and 2. We will add up the frequencies. We will get sigma f equals to 20. In the third column, we will write d equals to x minus a. x is variable, a is assumed mean. 25 is assumed mean. So 15 minus 25 minus 10, 20 minus 25 minus 5, 25 minus 25 is 0, 30 minus 25 5, 35 minus 25 10. In the fourth column we will write d dash equals to d divided by c. We have taken c equals to 5 as common factor. So minus 10 divided by 5 will get minus 2, minus 5 divided by 5 we will get minus 1, 0 divided by 5 0, 5 divided by 5 1, 10 divided by 5 2. Now in the next column we will write d dash square, minus 2 square comes 4, minus 1 square 1, 0 square 0, 1 square 1, 2 square 4. In the next column we will write f d dash, we will multiply frequency with d dash. So 2 into minus 2 we will get minus 4, 3 into minus 1 we will get minus 3, 6 into 0 we will get 0, 7 into 1 7, 2 into 2 we will get 4. So, sigma fd dash equals to 4. And the last column will write fd dash square. We will multiply frequency with d dash square. 2 into 4 will get 8. 3 into 1 will get 3. 6 into 0 will get 0. 7 into 1 will get 7. And 2 into 4 will get 8. We will add up the values. We will get sigma fd dash square equals to 26. Now we will write the formula of SD that is standard deviation. Sigma FD dash square divided by sigma F minus sigma FD dash divided by sigma F whole square under root whole multiplied by C that is common factor. We will put up the value that we have calculated in the table. And after calculations we will get 5.61 as SD. Now come to CSD that is coefficient of standard deviation is equals to SD divided by mean where we will calculate mean equals to A plus sigma FD dash divided by sigma F into C. We will put up the values we will get 26 as mean. Now we will come to CSD so we will write down the values that is 5.61 divided by 26 we will get 0 0.21 as coefficient of standard deviation. This is how we will calculate coefficient of standard deviation in discrete series using step deviation method. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.